Welcome to Defect of the Month, taken from the NPL Defect database. My name's Bob Willis, and let's just talk about solder balls as it relates to wave soldering. Basically, there are two types of solder balls. There are random solder balls, or consistent solder balls, or what I refer to as designer solder balls. Now, random solder balls, as the name implies, are solder balls on the bottom surface of the printed circuit board with a totally random pattern. Now, nine times out of 10, these are caused by spitback. Basically, solder spitting from the surface of the wave, in the case of wave soldering, or from the solder reservoir in a selective soldering process. And generally, it's caused by excessive flux, inappropriate preheat operations. Where we have designer solder balls, i.e. solder balls in a consistent position between pins or terminations on components on the bottom side of the board, it is formed by the solder separating between those two positions, but the ball is bonded to the surface of the solder mask. So it really it's the adhesion characteristics of the solder on the solder mask. There are many types of solder mask in the industry. The important thing is selecting a mask which is compatible with your process and reduces as much as possible the formation of solder balls on the surface. Then specify that mask and only allow that solder mask to be used on your printed circuit boards. If you don't specify the solder mask, the mask type, and also understand the curing mechanism of that material, you'll have solder balls. 